Title, Cruel Dreams, A Tragic Tale of a 12-Year-Old Kid's Life Snuffed Out in Mattapan. T.L.D.R. In a soul-shaking instance, a 12-year-old boy was tragically shot dead in Mattapan, sending shockwaves of grief through the community. An ordinary day turned into an unimaginable nightmare for the boy's family and friends. Isn't it horrifying how a single bullet can change so many lives, forever? Chalk lines and blue sirens illuminated the streets of Mattapan in an eerie dance last night, as the neighborhood was plunged into an all-too-familiar darkness by another heartbreaking incident of gun violence. A 12-year-old boy, on the verge of his life's journey, was brutally shot dead. Now we have to ask, what's happening to our streets? Could this be the time we start asking ourselves some tough questions? Like, how did the perpetrator get his hands on a gun? And where does a kid fit into this violence-drenched puzzle? We'll be deep diving into the tragic story that unfolded on Fessenden Street and hope to spark some much-needed conversations about our societal realities. The deadly shooting on Fessenden Street in Mattapan was a chilling reminder of how violence can disrupt even the most mundane routines. An ordinary day turned into a nightmare, a senseless act of violence, ripping a hole in a family's heart. The 12-year-old, whose life was abruptly stolen, was just at the beginning of his journey. Don't we owe it to him and kids like him to ask why our neighborhoods aren't safer? The incident has triggered an outpouring of grief, with the community rallying together in the face of the tragedy. Echoes of the heartbreaking news reverberated through the neighborhood, a harsh reminder of the terror that lurks beneath the veneer of everyday life. The playgrounds, once filled with laughter and innocent fun, now seem to echo a more sinister tune, a grim lullaby of a childhood abruptly ended. Should we not question what kind of world we're shaping? where kids need to dodge bullets instead of playing dodgeball. As investigators continue to piece together the tragic events of the day, the focus is not just on finding the person responsible but also addressing the broader issues. The call for tighter gun control, better policing, and deeper community involvement rings louder than ever. The horrifying incident is another stark reminder of the pressing need for comprehensive strategies to combat gun violence. Isn't it time to ask how many more lives have to be lost before we take substantial action? No child should ever have to face the cruel reality of gun violence. Yet, here we are, reporting another tragic story. The burning question is, will this story just fade away like countless others, or will it spare us into action, transforming our collective grief into collective action? We'll leave you with this question, dear readers, how do we, as a society, Ensure that the youngest among us can live without fear of violence, ensuring this boy's death wasn't in vain? Let's turn our despair into dialogue, and hopefully, into action. Can we do that, together?